Hey y'all, I think I'm a little overdue for an update, so I thought that's what I would do here today. Um, for those of you who don't know, I had ACDF surgery. I had a two-level cervical fusion. You can see my scar here. Um, I think it's right here, yeah. The day after Christmas, so it's, it's obviously looking really good right now. Um, so December 26th of 2018, so I think I'm at week 14 right now. I think that's right, because at week 12, I had my x-rays done, my second set of x-rays done, and went into the doctor, the neurosurgeon, and he said they looked great. Uh, I was right where I needed to be. He said I'm actually a lot farther along than most people. I think I have really good genetics. My bones um, apparently heal very quickly. I'm not unbreakable. I can obviously break them, but um, they heal very fast, so that's good. <laughs> we're, we're in good shape there. So I was given the all clear to start getting back into the water and to normal activity. And I have probably asked about a thousand questions because my normal activity is not normal. Diving off of a three-story building headfirst is not what most people are doing in their spare time. Uh, so we made sure to show him videos and ask him lots of questions. And he said, I clear football players and wrestlers and bull riders and skydivers all at this point too. I think you're going to be just fine. Your alignment looks great. So I said, okay, you know, he said, don't jump right back on 10 meter, obviously ease your way into it, but um, you just go as you feel. And so I got it back in last week. So this is my second um, full week back in the water diving and it's been pretty good. I'm definitely stiff, um, but it's not in like the area where my surgery was. It's actually kind of like the top of my, my back and that's where it's more stiff. And they said that after getting the, the plate put in and everything that you would start absorbing impact in different areas like above and below it. So I think that's really what I'm feeling is I'm just absorbing the impact in a different area and it's not used to it. So I think it's just kind of really getting used to it. Um, and it's gotten a little bit better every single day. So I have noticed slight improvements, certain that like I'll have some lineups that don't, like when I fall in, some of them don't hurt at all. Um, some are still uncomfortable. I wouldn't say it's like, pain. I mean, if it was massive pain, I wouldn't be doing it, but it's uncomfortable. You know, there are certain things that really feel uncomfortable and especially it's not even so much tipping my head back. It's when I reach my arms and I have to extend back because my shoulders really tight, like the back of my shoulder blade. And I'm sure it's all connected and we're working really hard in that. I'm, I'm doing physical therapy still three days a week. Um, at least for a few more weeks, we may go down to two and then just kind of be on maintenance at that point. But, um, but yeah, it's been really good. Uh, I think I've just kind of steadily come through it. It's not that I'm always completely pain free. It's usually silly little things that, that are uncomfortable or that hurt. Like I've noticed the thing that hurts me the most is flinching. <laughs> if I see something out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, oh, like that, like that kind of jerking motion, <laughs> like, that gets me every time. It's ridiculous. And so every once in a while, one of my kids, you know, I have four kids and, and they're all small. And so one will like pull my arm to like take me this way. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, like that. That hurts pretty good. Well, today I got my first kind of, we call it a zinger or a free adjustment uh, in the pool. Sometimes when you hit the water, what people don't know is underneath the water, you are swimming and moving your arms and like flipping your body in a certain way to try to bring the water down to not make a splash. And so as you're doing that, sometimes your head goes one way or completely like it doesn't stay in line. And it happens mostly up on platform where you're going a lot faster and the impact's a lot harder. But it does happen on springboard some. And I got my first little adjustment today um, on the three meter. And I remember being underwater and I was like, oh, oh wait, that didn't hurt. Like it was, it was okay. Like it was weird. It just scared me because I just like, okay, I really felt that. But then I was like, all right, I'm good. I'm good. So that was a really reassuring and comforting thought that like, okay, I can take a lot more than I think I can take. I and mean, he says that that plate is going to hold me in really good. So I have a nice titanium plate right there and six screws in it. So holding strong right now. So it really feels good to be back in the water diving, flipping a little bit in the dry land room. We do like somersaults, like flips in the air um, onto mats and I can do the forward action and the inward action pretty well. It's still the first couple as I go to throw back, it can be a little uncomfortable, but as I do a couple, it gets a lot easier. It just kind of like has to get warmed up, loosened up a little bit. Um, the backward action is still a little rough. None of the landings hurt. I have to tell you that guys, for, I thought the landings were gonna hurt, like the jarring. Landings don't hurt at all. It's, it's mostly, it's a certain action when your arms get to the top. So like when I'm going backwards and I'm going to the top, and then I'm wrapping really hard like back into the somersault. Those are the things that kind of get me still. So that's a little sore still on the somersaults, like onto the mats on the floor, but I can do them on the trampoline and it's very minimal discomfort. So that's pretty cool. Um, just nice to be able to make 
big strides like that. So that's feeling good. Um, hopefully we'll start adding some more flipping and, and stuff really soon, just kind of baby steps, uh, starting to hold my handstands really well. And, um, but really just mostly trying to loosen up this back part of my shoulder and, um, you know, getting back to it. But there's, it's cool because I was having a problem. So when you enter the water, like in diving, you grab your hands. Most people grab here and it's flat. My wrist doesn't bend. So I have to grab a little bit more like this and you have this timing of when you swim with your arms through the water to, to displace the water so it doesn't go flying up in the air. You want it to come down with you. So as you go through and you swim your arms, you want them to go out to the side at the same time. And what happens is as you go through the water, these bubbles come up on either side of you. And um, that's how you know your arms have swum out to the side. The bubbles come up from your arms. And we've noticed, I mean, it's been over a decade, y'all, that my arm, like one bubble would come up and then the other one, if it came up at all, would come up like really slow and it would be really small. And that was this arm. I've always had trouble with this arm, triceps, wrist. Apparently it's been all connected to this and we had no idea. Um, so the really cool thing is my bubbles are starting to come up at the same time. That's kind of exciting. That's new and that's different and it feels good. Um, I'm actually able to lock my elbow really well now where I couldn't before. I feel like I've been going in the water like this for the last couple of years and now I'm able to like lock it out. Um, still, obviously positioning is, is something we're working on but it's really exciting to see good changes that are coming from this. Um, I've kind of said this in the past videos, like I still do feel some nerve stuff because most of my issues were not in my neck, they were down my arm. Um, I've had lots of nerve pain in my arm for obviously over a decade now, um, a lot of it in my elbow. Um, but I've had tricep problems that I've been dealing with for a very long time that I thought were just isolated to my tricep that I found the nerve, one of the nerves that was um, totally clamped down in my spine was coming out, It's it, it goes down either side of your arm. So it's getting better. It was cramping up, like it would lock out on me sometimes, like my muscle would just cramp for like hours and like I couldn't uncramp it and it was really annoying and, and painful. And now sometimes it will get kind of crampy, but I like have to force it to get there and then it doesn't stay. And so it's not totally all 100% yet, but it's on its way. And that's really exciting to see too, all of these changes that are coming, um, good physical changes. And they say the nerves can take a long time to regenerate. And that's, that's the big question we have right now is like, how long? Like, is it gonna take a couple weeks, a couple months? Is it gonna take a couple years? There's no telling, only time is gonna tell. But right now it looks good. Everything is just positive signs right now. So super excited. If this is a surgery you're facing, um, you know, please be optimistic. I know a lot of people now that have gone through the surgery and had really, really successful results that were in a lot of pain that almost immediately came out of their pain. So it's a really good surgery now. It's, it's pretty common. So there's a lot of research out there and there's a lot of different ways that they do it and many, many good ways to do it. So really exciting if that's something you're looking forward to because I was super nervous about it. Just feel comfortable like this is a really good procedure um, to have done and it can help a lot. It has a lot of benefits. So, and for those of you who are just cheering me on to get back out there into competition, I thank you for continuing to be with me through all of these crazy ups and downs that we've been through, but we're going to get there.